Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Can. together we can game. In the last episode we did Nork's Cove, but before we head to Twilight Harbor, I'm going to collect up these little bit of treasure right here near the Balloonist. I forgot to get that on the first time through here, but now that we have them, let us make our way to Twilight Harbor. Now right away, I love the sunset look of this world, it's just, God, it's so beautiful. And we're coming close to that 1200 gem count. Ah. Uh, uh, right away, it's very important to note that there is a glitch at the very beginning of this level, I believe it's right here, where you can actually walk on water. Obviously, I wasn't able to execute that well. But uh, if you remember earlier in this project, I said there was a lot of controversy with this game and guns that almost got a teen uh, higher rating than E for everyone at the time. And uh, this is the level I was referring to. As you see, these Nort Commandos here, not holding anything back, straight up using guns. Uh, and at the time, it was kind of controversial for a kid's game to feature guns, which I kind of find interesting. Uh, because, at least here in the United States, um, gun guns are pretty much everywhere. You know, we really much love our, our rights and privileges. So that, to know that this was one of the things that was almost deemed too far for the American release is kind of funny to me. Now here, these uh, Nort Commandos, uh, they're obviously getting more and more challenging, really fitting bosses, well, not bosses, but good, good good, creature placement for the last one, and I don't have sparks, so I'm going to want to be very careful. I don't know how well they are with fodder placement here, but uh, it's very good to try to always, well, I'm happy that happened, but it's always good to try to get higher ground than your enemies in this one. Uh, as you see, they're really good with these treasure placement. Um, if I wouldn't have uh, seen that, I probably would have missed that, so I'm happy I saw that. Obviously, they're going to want to ramp up the difficulty, but there's a difference between ramping up difficulty and just making something really impossible. And some games get it, and some don't, but luckily Spyro gets it uh, pretty well. As we saw there, I like the different looks of the military norks. Like, I like how some have berets, I like how some have grenades, some are just normal, you know, like basic recruits and I find that kind of cool. Now this one obviously a lot more challenging has an automatic gun compared to the others. I'm going to want to get these fodders to get sparks back and now I'll take care of you. So we're gonna obviously need something to get that but we're gonna free this dragon and get a checkpoint. Cosmos. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome Cosmos. Hey where's Wanda? No that's 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 a terrible joke. Someone suggested I added a terrible joke counter to my videos, but I don't think I want to be editing that much. So, like, the count would be astronomically high is what I'm trying to allude to there. But we're gonna get through this. Sparks back, full health too. Jump over the... or get hit by the bullets. <laughs> But yeah, I, I just want to know, what are your thoughts and opinions on guns in children's games? Like, I I don't know, I, I, I feel that children can take more than we give them credit. Obviously, I'm not saying we need to show them blood and guts and gore, but I mean, just having guns in a game, I don't think is too terrible. I mean, there are water guns, nerf guns, things like that, you know, where children play with, or even those, like, plastic, even plastic guns children can play with or you can at least buy here, I don't know about the rest of the world, but I kind of feel like s children can take some, like, gun presence in games. I mean, you don't have to completely censor it. But yet again, who am I? I mean, if you look at, like, four kids and children's entertainment like there, they deem guns inappropriate there, so I don't know. ESRB has kind of always been different when it comes to things like that. Uh, here is an interesting mechanic, this drawbridge here. We're gonna have to keep it up for something later in this level, but before I get this supercharged, I want to speak to this dragon to get this checkpoint. Be on the lookout for Nort Commandos, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. Spyro getting confident, and we almost have the 80 dragon total required for 120% completion. And I like how Cletus was trying to do, kind of be stealthy and agile like uh, the commandos. Kind of found that a little humorous. Alright, so now that we have this extra life, what we need to do? Use this supercharge up here. Jump. Ah, didn't make it this time. But you'll see what we need to do. But it gives us time to collect these treasures. We'd have to done this twice anyway, so I guess this is probably probably a good time. 
to miss it. And I believe, if I remember correctly, yes, there are some gems we need to get here. I don't remember if there are some hidden on these sides here. I want to say maybe? Uh, not on this side, but I want to say the other side. So let me make sure. Uh, no, there is a hidden life. I knew there was something over here. So if you need an extra life, giving you life giving you down. There you go. And I failed that. <laughs> Luckily for us, though, they're pretty generous by putting that close to the land, so we can take a little bit of those hits. I think I went up there earlier, didn't I? Just wanted to make doubly sure, yes I did. I don't know, I find myself in these later levels just because I didn't play them as frequently as the other levels as a child that I get lost a little easier. Not not too terribly, but a little easier. So let's supercharge. I always liked that I used to think when I was a child like Spyro would be a linebacker, which is obviously very stupid. Why would a dragon be playing American football? Because that's obviously the biggest flaw with that statement, but, <laughs> you know, to each his own. But now, we need to collect those three yellow gems. Uh, that's one thing I wish I could have did a little bit better, uh, execute this jump. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright. But I love the creativity. That's one thing I will say of children's games, like, they... They're really good with creativity, like even like modern games, like I know Knack is a great example, it's been hearing, I've heard interesting things of that game, uh, there's been positive and negative reviews, another PlayStation exclusive thinking about it, and I don't know, if you've played Knack, is it any good? I don't, I don't play many children's games for obvious reasons nowadays, but I don't know, maybe I should pick up E for everyone games, like what do you feel of that? Like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you can't play, it's rated E for everyone. But, I mean, at the same point, same, to counteract that argument, everyone means everyone. <laughs> so, I don't know. Just kind of curious. Hopefully, can get this right. Okay. Ugh, just not my day here. Okay, well, I am going to see maybe if there's a later segment I'm supposed to do that at. No, I think it's here, so let me cut ahead till I get it right. Alright, and there we go. Finally was able to get that. Oh no. I you yeah, I didn't need to be charging, which is the main issue there. So now that we have that, we can put this drawbridge back down. And we don't have to go up on that supercharge anymore. But we now have to get rid of these commandos. These militia north. I always found it funny that he had his own army. And like, oh no. I guess it really shows that Nasty isn't weak. But I guess he, they did claim he was stupid, they didn't say he was weak. But kind of a childish reason to freeze all the dragons, I mean. Let's think about that. If I was called, if I had to, if I froze everyone who has ever insulted me, half the planet would be probably frozen. I mean, let's just be honest here. Alright, just going to make our way through here, though. But, uh, yeah. I, I know as I say, but, uh, yeah, a lot. And I need to just calm down on that one. I just want to do well. And, uh, I, I find this actually is an okay segment to where, like, you can actually utilize that role that they give you. Like, there's really never a point in Spyro where you... It's like, oh, man, this is when I can do this. Because, I don't know, that's kind of a mechanic that... Like, I appreciate that they gave those buttons usage, it's just that you never actually need them, which is my my thing there. But, with these final yellow gems here, we collect 400 out of 400 of the treasure, and we can safely return home, bringing our total up to 10,000. 11,425. And in the next episode, we are going to confront Nasty Nork and finish the 200 out of 200 required for Nasty's world. So let us do that. Alright. Nasty's world complete as well. But in the next episode, we confront the man who started it all.
Nasty Nork. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about guns in children's games? Do you think that they should be there, they shouldn't? Let me know your opinion on it in the comments below, I'm really curious. Thank you all so much for watching, thank you for your time. Hope you have a great day.